I'm gonna unite the six strings and destroy all music, except for rock! No! So, I'm gonna need your string. Four years ago, the DreamWorks animation feature Trolls dropped a glitter bomb upon the world, delighting fans of all ages with its colorful fantasy adventure and pop music soundtrack. The movie was an instant box office success, an Oscar nominee and a Grammy winner, and it spawned a holiday special for NBC and a television series for Netflix. Now it's time for a sequel. Here's everything you need to know before you watch. Trolls World Tour is the feature follow-up that families have been waiting for as not just a return to the world of Poppy, Branch, Guy Diamond, and the rest of the trolls, but also an introduction to an expanded universe of miniature musical creatures featuring all new characters and songs. Released in 2016 and inspired by the classic troll doll figures, the original movie introduced us to the land of Princess Poppy and her fellow fun-loving and brightly colored little creatures. They lived relatively carefree, partying and singing pop songs together until they were rediscovered by their enemy, the Bergens, which were larger ogre-like monsters who wanted to eat the trolls. After a bunch of their friends were kidnapped by a villainous Bergen chef, the always hopeful Poppy and her pessimistic pal Branch journeyed to Bergen Town on a rescue mission. Along the way, they befriend a Bergen girl, helped her woo the spoiled new king, got her to help save the other trolls, and ultimately brought peace between the trolls and the Bergens. For fans of trolls and its lovable characters, the two small screen spin-offs are worth watching, but not necessary ahead of the new movie. But there may be some references to Trolls Holiday and the new series Trolls The Beat Goes On. Trolls Holiday is a half-hour animated short in which Poppy and friends find the Bergens a new holiday now that they've done away with Trollstis, which was the time when the creatures feasted on trolls. The Beat Goes On, which ran for eight seasons through last year, simply offers an episodic look at the life in Trolls Village following the events of the first movie. Trolls World Tour takes place after the events of the first Trolls movie, but there have been contradictory reports on whether the film is set before or after the holiday special and television series. From the looks of it, the chronology doesn't really matter either way since the new movie tells an isolated story and unlike the spin-offs, doesn't really feature the Bergens. The plot of the movie involves a threat from another land of trolls. Poppy, who is now queen, and the rest of her village discover there are five other kinds of trolls, each group representing a different genre of music. And the leaders of the hard rock trolls want to do away with classical, country, funk, techno, and pop, the last of which being Poppy's domain, and reign supreme. Poppy is once again voiced by Anna Kendrick, who is reunited with Justin Timberlake as Branch, now Poppy's boyfriend. Other returning trolls include Guy Diamond, Biggie, Cooper, DJ Sookie, and the twins Chenille and Satin, voiced respectively by Kunal Nair, James Corden, Ron Funches, Gwen Stefani, and the electro-pop duo Iconopop. Some additions for the sequel include Rachel Bloom and Ozzy Osbourne who voiced the villains Queen Barb and her father King Thrash of the Hard Rock Trolls. Mary J. Blige and George Clinton play the leaders of the funk trolls, Anthony Ramos plays the head of the techno trolls, Kelly Clarkson plays the mayor of the country trolls, and Sam Rockwell plays another country troll. Also joining the cast of musical characters, most of whom will also be heard on the soundtrack, are Jamie Dornan, Charlene Yee, Flula Borg, Karen Sony, Saturday Night Live cast member Keenan Thompson, reggaeton singer Jay Balvin, singer and rapper Anderson Pack, singer Esther Dean, violinist Gustavo Dudamel, and the members of the K-pop group Red Velvet. Who are you guys? We are the K-pop gang. Speaking of the soundtrack, the Trolls World Tour album features some brand new tracks led by singer, songwriter, producer Justin Timberlake, similar to the first movie's award-winning hit Can't Stop the Feeling, including The Other Side featuring SZA and Don't Slack with Anderson Pack. There's also a country song co-written by Timberlake and Chris Stapleton, plus other original tunes with the rest of the cast. As for covers performed by the stars of Trolls World Tour, including Kendrick, Corden, and Clinton, there's a melody of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, Good Times, and Groove Is In The Heart, as well as a new version of Clinton's Atomic Dog. Bloom covers the rock hits Barracuda, Rock You Like a Hurricane, and Osborne's own Crazy Train, while Ramos sings Daft Punk's One More Time, and Rockwell sings Patsy Klein's I Fall to Pieces. 
Rockwell, who makes only his second vocal appearance in an animated feature, is known for his dancing and not so much for his musical talent. But he does love to sing, and he's been heard minimally doing so in such movies as Glory Days and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Walter Dorn, who made his feature directorial debut as the co-director of the first Trolls and continues as the voice of various characters including Mr. Dinkles, is now the lead director of Trolls World Tour. He's joined by co-director David P. Smith, a longtime employee of DreamWorks Animation, who in turn makes his feature directorial debut with this new sequel. So now you know, and now you can go watch Trolls World Tour exclusively on digital platforms, including Fandango Now on April 10th.